throw in the line, ended up with a pair of coyotes. Got them skinned already. Two 12 pound coon. A new record for me. Uh, 63 or 65 pound. The previous was 63. 65 pound beaver. 42 pound beaver. And 35 pound beaver. So, um, yep, that's it, guys. See you on one. Uh, 31 January. Whatever's come up quite a bit. You can see the chewed sticks. I just set the strap blind. It looks like I had it maybe a little shallow, but it turns up a lot from where I set it. Anyways, we'll put the trap back. But 750 on a drowned or set it blind. I'm gonna make a little caster mound with some uh, sweetwater flat tail. See what happens. See you guys down the line. Well, we're uh, at it bright and early here. We actually finished work and got off the train last night at uh, right about midnight. Drove over here and uh, third one of the morning. So I just set this trap uh, four days ago. Ranch hand told me he saw a pair of coyotes up here harassing a calf. So I put a trap here and one about another half mile up the road. I caught one here last year, never remade the set, and uh, come by next time to stock that out with the catch circle. And you can see where another one had come by and checked it out. So I think we'll go ahead and remake this one here. See you guys down the line. Well, we're uh, having a real good day. I think I only made that one video of coyotes this morning. Uh, so I thought I'd make another video here real quick. So I just did a caster mound. That right there was my caster mound. The water is quite a bit lower, but I put it up there for the fluctuation. You see the water level was clear up there at one point. Uh, hind foot catch, so must have caught him before the water got too deep. Um, and it's all a drowner, of course. And then I have this piece of cottonwood here just to help uh, lure him in. What's that? Uh, I'm not sure. Either a sweetwater flat tail or backbreaker on uh, Montana number five. So, we'll see you on so there's the remake. Got it well blended. Curry can go up through there. Probably be better if it's a little square to the channel. But uh, there's the beaver I just took out of there. There's my beaver made a caster mound last night, night before. So it's open, it's open there too, but we're froze down there, so I don't suspect much, but it'll fall eventually as long as the water don't drop too much. Alright, see you guys down the line. Well, uh, that'll probably be the last coyote of the day. We just got a couple of traps down at the end to check. This one's got mange, so it'll be no good. Was a T-bone set. Well, we'll go get him taken care of. Alright, see you guys down the line. Well, here I am standing, standing on a packed snow, we're about oh, knee deep. Here's my cage trap, Mercy, Mercer Lawrence cage trap. I had tracks walking up around here. They're close together, small track, <coughs> thought maybe a small bobcat, but they won't go in the cage. I sit and mill around and uh, got feathers here, which aren't doing a whole ton of good right now. But, uh, Anyways, that's for uh, some eye appeal. And uh, there's fluffy snow, so I couldn't tell what it was. First time I ever caught a fox in a cage trap. Piece of beaver meat in there. It's the snow. We're going to have a snowstorm here in the west. Finally got hungry enough. Went in there, so. Caught a fox in a cage trap. Uh, there's guillotine doors. Mercer Lawrence. Good traps, they're just uh, it's a cage trap. It's hard to get stuff to go in them. Alright, guys, see you on the line. See you on 11th there, February. Okay, cubby, ought to catch raccoon, skunk, that sort of thing. Uh, it's still the 11th. Conner bear was missing. That is a first for me. Um, just amazed. Conner bear was missing. I pulled the cable, it lay right over here. Hopefully it's uh, good and everything. Oh, fox can slip pretty easily. Looks like the hair's pretty good though, so. All right, we'll uh, take that home, thaw it out, then get it out of there. Um, 
but there's a fox caught on a 330. Double on fox today, I've never caught a fox in this property before. My own little piece of ground here. Snow's a little shallower here. Um, it's got a coyote down there. Last year we caught a bobcat right around the corner there. Saw a fox on trail camera this year, but haven't had any luck catching them. Of course our traps are buried under snow. Uh, but there you go. Alright, see you guys down the line.